To your counterpart, and you're saying some ministers in the acting government in Ukraine, in Kiev, have been able to speak to their counterparts in Russia. So there is some dialogue there? There is some dialogue going on. We would like this dialogue to be intensified. Mm -hmm. um, that is why we are bringing up the issue of uh, the commission, the joint commission of uh, the, the economic cooperation. Uh, we have issues to discuss, we have challenges to tackle, and let's tackle those challenges rather than pointing guns at each other. The NATO top commander in Europe said just a very short time ago that in his opinion all the elements were in place on the Russian side and he said Russia can achieve its objectives if it so chooses in Ukraine within three to five days. This timetable is uh, overestimated. It's not just about the military strength. That's true, that Russia is stronger. This is the nuclear state with a modernized military, with a huge army. But it's not just about the strength, it's more about the spirit. Again, we are ready to protect, we are ready to defend the country, we are ready to fight. It's it is incumbent upon you to explain how you would deal with the Russia relationship if, as you had wanted, Ukraine had gone ahead with the association agreement with the EU. I mean, when Carl Bildt talks about, and this is his phrase from just the other day, when he's talked about the politics of brutal pressure, talking about Moscow's stance toward Kiev, how do you overcome the politics of brutal pressure then? We should create the negotiation group, and this, it cannot last long, it cannot last forever. Because we are so closed country, we have with a common history, with a, such a big turnover. And Russia is, is, for example, as an in energy sector, depend very much on the Ukrainian market, the same as Ukraine depend on the Russian market. And it can last yeah, for half a year. When the World War